I've been playing sports ever since I was young, since I was five years old, played soccer. I really didn't start playing volleyball until high school and it was just new and it was something it was a challenge because I had to you know learn quick and there was a lot of players that were more advanced than me so I really had to go and get it and it was always a challenge for me. Nice job, girl. I remember club was a lot of fun and traveling and you know it's playing a lot and it is strenuous but coming to college um, it's a lot more learning your technique learning fundamentals um, lifting getting stronger building strength jumping, watching videos, studying, you know, working on your arm swing. It's a lot more things not on the court. I'm just kind of trying to, you know, learn to be quicker, like quicken up my game. Everything's got to be quicker. Obviously, it's a higher level and, you know, it's not club or high school ball anymore. It's it's Division One volleyball. You got to step it up and everybody's going to be jumping higher and swinging faster. I don't care where I have to play or what I have to do. Like I, I don't even want, know what I want to study yet. I just know that I want to play volleyball till my legs fall off and stay healthy. And whether I have to play beach or whether I have to play in Europe, I don't know where it's going to take me. Or you know, I'm hoping this fire stays lit in me. I definitely have learned through the years um, how to cope and to be a better positive not only player towards my coach but towards my other players I really think that to be a good coach you have to be a good psychologist because it's a lot of different personalities a lot of big egos and a lot of different you know attitudes out on the court and we have to make six of them correspond and work together My goal from the very get-go was to be the best at everything that I do, to achieve whatever I could, but it was always at the, you know, to go to Vision 1 or die, basically, was my attitude about it. Strategy-wise, with the men and women's games, uh, is a lot different. Uh, the men, the games played above the net. Uh, men bring the confidence, a uh, little bit of attitude, getting them to uh, open up to each other and feel comfortable with one another is, is probably the challenge there because you got the egos a little bit. Uh, with the women, you know, the challenge for some of them is, is to, to keep that consistent competitive fire and, and have them bring a little. Uh, confidence to the table all the time. The energy level brings a lot of things and you know we want to show our heart, show our desire on the court, on the sidelines the whole entire time. Uh, and even when some negative things happen, you got to really gear towards the positive. And that get geared back up and that, that's the hardest thing to do, going from that negative to that positive. And, you know, we work on it all the time, and I think it brings a lot to our team to be so emotional because it really gets us that momentum drive sometimes. Brings us those close games uh, and those tight matches. 
when you've been in the situations before, uh, you try to coax, you know, make those players that haven't been in those situations, get them relaxed, you know, talk to them, calm them down, tell them to stay focused, what's, you know, talk to them about the play, what's open, you know, and as those players get in more of those situations, they get that experience, they're able to do that for themselves, uh, and they get a lot better at it. Only thing, guys, is we were off to, and then we just kind of let them go back in, and, and, and we shouldn't do that. We were playing with fire, they, they came awful close. Coaching is something I've, I've known I've always wanted to do, and uh, I had a great experience. Volleyball has treated me very well as far as uh, I married a volleyball player. She played Hawaii with the national team. Uh, I love the man because there's a, a ministry opportunity there with the guys, and just seeing uh, boys come in and leave the men is uh, that's fun for any coach.